Okay, let's see if I can do this in one take. <laughs> so one of the cool and nice but dangerous features that was added to OpenShift at 4.8 release was the ability to edit a deployment within your dashboard. And it gives you a real slick form view and I'll show you what I mean by that. So if I pick this application and then go to actions and edit deployment, it takes me over to edit the deployment. Now, instead of just having the YAML view, which you would always have before, now you have a form view. So it kind of takes, it abstracts out the YAML and puts it in a nice, easy to understand format. Um, the advantage being you don't need to know the format, right, of the YAML. You don't need to do all the indentation and all that. You just fill out this form and it does it for you. This is really dangerous because if you use this in production, like you could change production this is like patching code on the fly. This is really a dangerous thing. Probably a really bad idea to do in production. So maybe you have a, a staging environment that mimics production as, as you do. Um, even that's dangerous because you say, well, we'll change it. We'll test this. And then if it works, we'll go and edit the source code. That's all well and good, but sometime you'll forget to edit the source code. It's we're, we're humans, that happens. What I like to do with this the way I use it is as a teaching tool. So for example, I want to change my deployment source code on my PC to include a secret value and put it into an environment variable in my code. So what I'm going to do in the form view is scroll down to here and I can see that I can add an environment variable from a config map or a secret. Now these are existing. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to call it foo. So it's obvious to see. And then I'm going to select a resource and I can select a config map that already exists. Or in this case, I'm going to use a secret called Red Hat Cloud Services Service Account. And then inside that secret, it obviously has two keys. And so I can pick the client ID and there's a bug because you have to click it twice. So now it's going to update my YAML for me when I click save to reference that key in that secret and put it into the environment variable called foo. So now that I've updated it, let's go back and look at the deployment. And then we'll go back into the YAML view. And what I'll do is I'll scroll down and I'll say, oh, look, there it is, line 206 to 210. There's the values that it inserted in my YAML. And then what I'll do is I'll I'll make note, you know, I'll see the indentation. It goes under environment variables and it's referenced as a value from and the secret key ref and things like that. I'll copy and paste that into my source code, you know, like, like, like for example, here, this is a different deployment, but it's the same idea. And then I'll, then I'll know how to properly use it. Um, so that's how to edit in the dashboard and be careful and use it wisely. <laughs>